Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up five of the Shining Fates tins. So this is a live stream opening. And thanks for those that have stuck with me. I had some technical difficulties early on and for some reason my microphone cut out. So I'll edit that part out for future viewers. But thank you everyone for joining me on this Sunday evening for some live stream opening. Lots of excited news to share with everyone throughout this live stream. So 30 total packs of Shining Fates will be opened up in this live stream opening. Six Shining Fates booster packs in each tin. So the hope is to pull the chase card from Shining Fates in the Shiny Charizard VMAX. So some exciting news, like I said, first off, I will be doing a break in the near future. I'll be opening up 36 total packs of Shining Fates break style. So one winner will take all. And the way that I select the winner is essentially you purchase spots for the 36 booster pack break. And whoever gets the highest numbered Shiny Vault subset card in their pack will win the contents of all 36 packs. I will live stream that opening as soon as the break fills up. So the way to enter the break is by purchasing a spot via PayPal, RyanMajeski at msn.com, $13 per spot, and you can purchase as many spots in the break as you would like. And I've done lots of breaks before. So let's see here, just wanna make sure everything's going well. I think so. Hopefully everyone can still hear me. There will be a Shining Fates Charizard. And I'll put my phone on loud for Carla so she can actually contact me if you can't hear me. Hopefully everything is going well. I don't know why the audio cut out a little bit strange. So let's see here. I can definitely say hi to Trajectory in the live chat. I know Carla's been in the live chat. Sentaifan45 has been in the live chat. So all six of these tins, actually five of these tins, I did purchase from Collector's Cash for $39.99. So I'll have to keep an eye on the live chat very closely. I certainly can say hi to everyone in the live chat. Isaac and Dilly has put that many, many times. Certainly, Ryan Majeski at MSN.com via PayPal. The link is in the description of this video. All right. So, let's go like this. Derek Gutierrez, hope you pull a good card. I certainly hope so. I'll jump on over to TCG Player and take a look at the price guide for Shining Face. So, Shining Face, a special expansion, of course. Official release date for the set, February 19th, 2021. You only can buy these products through tins like this, special boxes and tins and packs, not individual packs or booster boxes. So if I head on over to TCG Player, Shiny Vault subset, there are 122 cards in the Shiny Vault subset, 73 cards in the main part of the set, Charizard VMAX, the shiny one, the card that I'm hoping to pull most. I have actually pulled that card from a pack very early on. I believe it was Colin Renfro that won that break. So the only Charizard VMAX I pulled from a pack, I sent to one of the break winners. After that, a big drop off price wise. Sweet Coon wouldn't be bad. I love the black and gold Eternatus VMAX and V. And then what I like about this set as opposed to Hidden Fates is there are some very good full art trainer cards in the Shining Fates main expansion, including Skyla, which I have not pulled. There's actually eight full art trainer cards, and I pulled seven of the eight. So there's a look. Amazing rares in the set as well. So go back to the overhead view, and let's get one of these tins open up. Like I said, I have five total. I have three Cramorant. One Boltund and one Eldegoss. And these are some of my favorite products from this set, all because of the shiny Black Star promo. So let's head back to here just to make sure. All righty. Here would be the first tin, and it is perforated here where you can just pull it open and actually just go like this. And some more good news, too. My local Walmart pro finally put a limit in place 
two items per person per day. Now, I don't know how well that's going to actually work because I believe it was last Friday, I went to Walmart to get some food for work, checked the card section, and the MJ Holdings guy was just stocking these shelves. I bought two of these tins for $29.98 a piece, and some guy that I'm guessing was a reseller took, I believe, six boxes of NFL Select, which sell for $100. $25 a box, I believe, plus like three or four rack packs of prison basketball. I went ahead and told management there, but they were already on top of it, so I would assume that that person was not able to buy all that. Next step at my local Walmart is they're moving the cards behind customer service really to prevent all of the resellers from purchasing the products there, and I think it will make it much better just allowing more people to get the products yes and carla is in the live chat she has been having a fair amount of issues with the pregnancy more exciting news next saturday we're going in to have a 3d ultrasound done so we'll be able to identify the gender of the baby so i'm excited for that we've discussed whether if we're going to find out saturday or not i know carla's sister is planning on doing a gender reveal party i personally would like to know what the gender is immediately but we may both just not know and then find out i believe may 22nd so i'll get this first tin opened up here cramorant i like shiny pokemon that are much different in color than the original form I'll show some of these here, but then the other tins, I'll just go directly for the packs. Welcome to everyone joining this live stream again. I apologize for the early audio mishaps. And that's what I get for putting my phone on silent. Carla, as well as Pedro, were both trying to contact me and let me know that the audio was not working. I specifically checked the audio before I started the live stream. It was all good to go. So I don't know what changed, but like I said... Once this video is concluded, I will edit out that beginning portion. Usually it does take a while. Cramorant, the Black Star promo SWSH086 would be the card number. My studio down here is getting a little bit messy again. Carla hasn't been downstairs for a while, so she would not be very happy with me. I'll give away some code cards as well. So from six packs, I'm hoping one or two Shiny Vault subset cards, like I said. Really hoping to pull the Charizard VMAX, the shiny one. That is for sure. That's really the only super valuable card in the set. So let's see what's going on with the first pack here. Toxtricity VMAX on it, a shiny one. There are seven VMAX available as shiny Pokemon in the Shiny Vault subset, plus one more VMAX in that black and gold Eternatus. So let's see what happens. First pack here, you do get a white cleared code card in every single pack. Looks like how I pulled two Eternatus goals and two tins. I was so hyped, so congrats to you. I've had decent luck with Eternatus. Grookey starts the first pack. Eevee, Morpeko, Choodle, Nicket, Water Type Energy, Thwacky, Gym Trainer, which is available as a full art. Floatzel, Reverse Hollow Slots, where the Shiny Vault or the Amazing Rares would be. Just a Kufan tier, a common. Rare would be a Manaphy. Now, I don't know if everyone's seen the news. The 21-22 standard format has been announced. And it is going to be Sword and Shield onward. And then... Going forward, they are going to just let everyone know what sets are available in the standard format by the letter on the card. And one set could have multiple different letters. And I'll show you an example shortly here. Wow, Shining Fates. Schmidt pulled a shiny Charizard on camera. Congrats to you. Snom starts this one. Grookey. Eevee. Morpeko. Choodle. Darkness-type energy, Dartrix, Ball Guy, a funny-looking full art if I was able to pull it, Team Yell Towel, Reverse Hollow, there we go, a first Shiny Vault subset card in a Copperaja. Set that one aside, and the final card would be a Rare Hollow in Indeedee. 
So usually I summarize my polls for each tin that I open up, but maybe I will summarize all of my polls after the 30 packs have concluded. I think that is what I'm going to do. Next pack here, what a beautiful looking cover artwork design on it. Shiny Charizard VMAX. Now, like I mentioned in the open, for those just joining, I will be doing a, a 36 booster pack break of Shining Fates, $13 per spot to enter. You can enter via PayPal, Ryan Majeski at msn.com. You can find that in the description of this video. You can purchase as many spots as you'd like. One winner takes all. It is a great way to support my channel, essentially donating to help me purchase some of these more expensive products. Horsey starts this pack, Rowlet, Morpeko, Spinarak, Snom, Grass-type Energy, Dartrix, I can certainly say hi to Daddy Dom in the live chat, Luxio, Team Yell Towel, Reverse all of a Rowlet, just a common, rare here, would be a boss's orders, and this is Lysandra, a very good supporter card overall, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. SentaiFan45, thank you for the moderation there. If you want me to say hi to you, you only have to say it once. You don't have to say it 50 times or anything like that. I try and look at the live chat quite a bit. Let's see what happens here. Some more exciting news for myself is I actually created my own eBay account now. So it's primetime Pokemon, just like my channel name. And I will be listing several cards from my collection on there in the coming weeks and months. Snom starts this pack. Horsey. Rowlet. Morpeko. Spinarak. Lightning type energy. Rotom. Floatzel. Rusted sword. Reverse all of a Manaphy, which is a rare. Final card would be a Zerud. So just the one... No, make that two packs the left to open in tin number one. Not often tins include six booster packs. Certainly leave a like if you're just starting to watch this live stream. Likes help get my videos found in search results. And of course, if you think this video does deserve a like, certainly smash that like button. Alrighty, I'd love to see the shiny Charizard VMAX. Gossifleur starts this pack. Rowlet, Decidueye, a shiny one in this set. Kufund, Spinarak, Snom, Fighting Type Energy, Cramorant, this is a Cramorant tin, Rusted Shield, Eldegoss, Reverse All of a Coughing, just a common. Final card would be a Yan Mega. Now, if you've been watching my videos recently, I think it was a couple of weeks ago on Easter when Carla and I announced that she was pregnant. First product that I opened up, a Champion's Path product. First pack, Shiny Charizard V. And I've opened thousands of Champion's Path products. And the search for that Charizard, and I finally pulled one. Alrighty, Coughing starts this pack. Gossifleur. Rowlet, Kufant, Spinarak, Fire Type Energy, Ball Guy, Tropius, Rusted Shield, Reverse Solo of a Rotom. That would be an uncommon rare two eyes. Final card. Nice! This is a card that I don't pull that often from the set. El Creamy V Full Art. And this is the only V Full Art in the main part of this expansion. So a very good tin to start this 510 live stream, was able to pull one Shiny Vault subset card in Caparaja, a rare Reverse Hollow, a rare Hollow, and then the El Creamy V. So that would be a dab for sure. Really do like that El Creamy V. And as a collector, always trying to pull as many Ultra Rares and Secret Rares as possible. Luis San Juan, thank you for getting me into TCG again. Hello, Dominic. Thank you for watching. So now let's move on to another tin. Now off to the side there, you can see some of the cards. I'll have to set those a little bit farther off. I'll summarize all of my pulls at the end. So this is the one and only Bolton tin that'll be opening up 
in this particular live stream. I actually like Bolton the best of the three shiny Pokemon. Oligos is very competitive. I guess Bolton did as well, especially for something like a Pikachu and Zekrom GX deck. Although tag team Pokemon will be rotated out late August of this year. And it's hard to believe that the Sun and Moon series of sets bye bye to those in the standard format so i'll pull this out and share the code card with everyone again i do have a break upcoming 36 booster pack break of shining face booster packs 13 dollars per spot if you would like to enter via paypal ryan majeski at msn.com you can find that in the description of this video i like bolton best of the three available for these tins just because the colors are so cool looking so six packs here to open up, still on the search to actually pull and keep the shiny Charizard VMAX. And last time I checked, like I said, today I started a, an eBay just to sell some of my cards from my collection and just some inside information with Carla being pregnant and just some home repairs are needed and of course I could save over many years but I thought might as well sell some of my collection. It is an investment really overall collectibles and sell some of my cards off and then I'm looking at getting new windows and siding for our house here. When I first moved into my house six years ago I painted all of the interior and then five years ago I painted everything on the outside. It took almost all summer. I painted, I actually power washed, scraped, sanded, I even vacuumed the outside of my house. Did as good of job as possible for the painting. I painted my windows, softened fascia, as well as the siding and it's been about five years and I need to repaint it. So I think this time I'm going with more of a permanent solution with vinyl windows and vinyl siding, aluminum soffit fascia. So you'll be seeing a lot of cards for sale on my personal eBay, which is primetime Pokemon, just like my channel name in the near future. I just started that eBay today. I actually have 10 cards that will be listed hopefully very soon. I actually posted those. They're supposed to be active, but since I'm a brand new eBay account, I'm assuming it will take a while before those show up in search results before I use my brother's eBay my mom's eBay I never really had something for myself so let's get some of these packs opened up and I'll go back to the live chat as well and like I said cards overall are really an investment I am a collector at heart so I'm not going to be selling some of the cards that mean a lot to me but just some of the cards that have lots of value, like I'm going to list a Lugia GX Rainbow Rare that's worth two to three hundred dollars. That card really doesn't have a lot of meaning to me, but cards like Charizard, for example, my favorite Pokemon, do have meaning. And essentially, I'm putting investment from cards into my house, which if I was to sell my house in the future, I would think I'd make money off of investing into my house. All right. First pack in tin two. And thank you everyone for joining this live stream. Make sure if you have not already to subscribe to my channel. New videos multiple times a week. I've already pre-ordered lots of Chilling Rain products. Kufant starts this one. Gossiflur. Snom. Coughing. Cacnea. Lightning type energy. Luxio. Gym Trainer, Team Meow Towel, Reverse Solo of a Snom. So there would be the second Shiny Vault subset card from this live stream. Frost Moth is very good. And then another Manaphy as the rare. So I'll set this aside. Hopefully I can remember what I get in this tin. But I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of the opening. Okay, next pack here, Corviknight on it. And I have been getting a little bit, I wouldn't say lazy, but I haven't really been doing anything other than openings on my channel recently. Still doing one live stream a week, but not really doing any competitive content or anything. So KT Crav for $5 donation wants to know how many packs can we buy on the break and when is it again? $13 per pack. So again, for the break, 
It's 36 total Shining Fates booster packs, $13 per spot. You are purchasing a spot, not a pack. And if you get the highest numbered Shiny Vault subset card near pack, you win the contents of all 36 packs. So it's one winner take all. Essentially, you're donating to my channel, helping support it by entering into the break. And you can enter via PayPal, RyanMajeski at MSN.com. You can purchase as many spots as you would like. The break will happen live as soon as the break fills up. All right, so let's see. I don't know if I did the card trick there or not. Pat O'Connor thinks the Charizard's in 10-4. Let's see what's happening. Shining Fate Schmidt, I've been watching you for years, so glad you are back. You inspired me to start making opening videos. You are the man. Well, thank you for being a longtime viewer, and I'm glad to have inspired you. Gossifleur, Cacnea, Kufant, Buizel, Spinarak, Fighting Type Energy, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Floatzel, Reverse Sol of a Galarian Weezing, which is a rare. Final card would be a Celebi. I know I'm listing on eBay a Shining Celebi, which is from, I believe, one of the, either the Super Premium Collection, or there's another collection box from Shining Legends. All right, Toxtricity VMAX now the shiny one and I have pre-ordered from collector's cash I pre-ordered five booster boxes of chilling rain I believe they're $139.99 which is unbelievable how much those booster boxes are costing now and then I did purchase I believe 10 elite trainer boxes all on pre-order Okay, fighting type ener fire type energy, and I'm too busy talking. I don't know what I did to this pack, so who knows where that rare card will be. Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Eldegoss, Drizzile would be the Shiny Vault subset card in the pack. I like this one quite a bit. Very cool shiny colors. Boss's Orders, Snom, Morpeko, Cacnea, Choodle, and then a spinner rack. So I apologize about the card trick there. Too busy talking to everyone. Boss's orders would be the rare in the pack, but Drizzile, not bad. Second Shiny Vault subset card from this tin. So let's see here. And Alexis wants to know about the break. Of course, you have to pay more than what I paid for the packs. Essentially, I'm paying seven or eight dollars per pack for the Shining Fates booster packs, but Essentially, you're supporting my channel, so that's why you're entering into the break, and then you do win the contents of 36 packs for $13 maybe. Who knows? And that is quite the deal right there. Shiny Dragapult VMAX, and I will have to pay more attention there and do the card trick correctly. I want to pull that Shiny Charizard VMAX and actually do the correct card trick. Okay. Let's see what is in the live chat quick. I had some opinions on chat, but I love yours. Have an opportunity for 10 Shining Fates Elite Trainer Boxes for $1,000 Canadian dollars. What do you think from a collector standpoint, investing standpoint? And I don't know how that translates into or converts into US dollars. I think that the Pokemon Company International is going to print quite a bit of Shining Fates, so... You might have a little bit of luck finding them at MSRP, but if you're going to keep them for more than a year or two, they'll be worth more than $100 per Elite Trainer box. I think you could find cheaper than $10 for $1,000, so that's just my opinion. I'd search for a little bit cheaper, but long-term Elite Trainer boxes are very collectible. Eevee, Buizel, Yanma, Trapinch, Nicket, Psychic Type Energy, Dominic, second time I've said hi to Dominic in the live chat, Thwacky, Ball Guy, Tropius, Reverse Fall of a Horsey, just a common, Rare would be a Thievil. Thievil always reminds me of Tuttle. And Tuttle, our cat, is sleeping out there somewhere. I let him out in the garage for some reason, so 80 800 US dollars, so that makes sense there. So if you can buy 10 
Elite Trainer Boxes for $800 US dollars. That's a pretty fair price. Could you find them for $50 everywhere? Possibly. But I think that is a fair deal right now. And unless the Pokemon Company International just prints so much out there, I think that is a fair price overall. Okay. On to a shiny Charizard V Max pack now. Trajectory, if you'd like to send me fan mail to open up on my channel or just privately too, you can email me ptpbiz at yahoo.com. That would be the best email to contact me for my contact information. Cacnea starts with this one. Choodle, Eevee. Nicket, Horsey, Metal Type Energy, Gym Trainer, Thwacky, Cramorant, Reverse Sol of a Rotom, an Uncommon, Rare here would be a Manaphy. So I've pulled Manaphy a lot. There are only 73 cards in the main portion of this set. I see someone saying that their foot is 77 degrees right now. It is a crazy weather day here in Minnesota. So it is spring, April 25th. Normally anywhere between 40 and 70 for the temperature. It was in the 30s today and it was snowing in late April. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be 77 degrees. So it is crazy weather here in Minnesota. All righty. Morpeko starts the final pack in tin two. Three more tins to go. Buizel. Nicket. Cacnea. Kufant. Water type energy, Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Rusted Sword, a reverse, follow an uncommon, and the final card would be a Yan Mega. So, not the greatest of 10 overall, but as far as these Shiny Vault subset cards go, two from one 10 in Drizzile and Snom pulled a rare hollow, a rare reverse hollow, and that is it for 10 2. So, let's see. I see Carl is getting pretty excited about David Hubbard suggesting that they send us diapers. I know Carla said she wants Huggies for diapers. I have no idea. Of course, our baby's due in October, October 17th. And it is very interesting and actually helpful for me because there's a female teacher at the elementary school that I work at. She is the same age as Carla and... It is also her first child. Her child is due October 20th, so I see her in school every day. You can sort of imagine what she's experiencing with Carla experiencing the same thing pretty much at the exact same time. So it's just interesting seeing two different perspectives and just knowing a little bit about what pregnancy is all about. Of course, Carla and I's first child. So another Cramorant tin here because I've already opened a Cramorant on live stream. I'll just pull the booster packs out again. Another reminder that I'll be doing a 36 Shining Face booster pack break as soon as the break fills up live on my channel to enter that. $13 per spot. You can purchase as many spots as you would like via PayPal, Ryan Majeski at MSN.com. So six packs here. Someone said they think Shiny Charizard VMAX is going to be in tin number four. So far, three Shiny Vault subset cards, all baby Shiny Pokemon. And then I did pull out an Creamy V Full Art. That's really it for some of the better pulls. Alex has been a longtime viewer since 2013. Love your content. Corviknight pack here. And just a reminder again, if you are interested in helping support the channel, actually supporting, actually, Carla and I as a family for the most part, I am going to be doing some home repairs in the next year or two. So I'm selling a lot of my collection on eBay. I've made a new eBay account, and hopefully my items will be listed in the very near future. Primetime Pokemon, just like my channel name, is the eBay name. Snom starts this one. Horsey, Rowlet, Morpeko, Spinarak, Fire Type Energy, Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Eldegoss, Reverse All of an Eevee, just a common, and then another Manaphy. 0 for 1 on this pack, 
and ptpbiz at yahoo.com is the email if you'd like to contact me just about questions in general. And Rouge just posted that in the live chat. And I see some people are suggesting baby names there. Like I said, this coming Saturday, we're going to have a 3D ultrasound, or Carl is going to have a 3D ultrasound to determine if we're having a boy or a girl. I'm just hoping for a healthy baby. Carla's happy with either, but she would really like a girl. I guess if I had to choose one, I'd like a boy, but I really don't have a preference. Hello there. Is hoping that I get a Charizard. Well, thank you. More Peko. Spinarak. Buizel, Rowlet, Trapinch, Psychic Type Energy, Floatzel, Luxio, Rusted Sword, Reverse Hollow, a Coughing, a Common, and then a Celebi. So, Polka J, I feel a Zard coming on the third pack in this tin. Well, this is the third pack here. Shiny Dragapult VMAX on it. Is this the pack? Surprisingly, have not pulled any shiny Pokemon that are not baby shinies. Alex wants to know if I'm going to do any fan mail packages in the future. And certainly, if people want to send me fan mail, Coughing starts the third pack of tin. Three, Gossifleur, Rowlet, Kufant, Spinarak, Metal Type Energy, Gym Trainer, Thwacky, Cramorant, Reverse Hall of a Volcanion. This is a rare. Yes, it is. And the final card would be a Boss's Orders. Now I see someone said Charizard or Charmander, call the baby Charmander, and that's not the first time someone's asked me if we are going to name it after a Pokemon or anything like that. I know Carla and I have talked maybe Serena would be an okay name for a girl, something like that, but we would definitely not put some type of Pokemon name into the baby's name. Next pack here. Poka J, nope, you were mistaken on that pack. Haven't really pulled anything outside of that El Creamy V Full Art in the final spot either. Now, thank you everyone for watching this live stream. 244 concurrent viewers. Thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Spinarak starts this pack. Pack 4 of Tin 3. Shinx. Coughing. Horsey. Grookey. Water type energy. Luxio. Gym Trainer, still on the hunt for that Skyla Full Art. Team Yell Towel, Reverse Hollow, a Cacnea, a Common, and then a Lux Ray, so a Rare Hollow. Seems like I've been getting one Rare Hollow per tin so far. Zero Shiny Vault subset cards here. Certainly, I hope to get to 150 likes, 138 likes right now. Corvanite pack here. And again, I will be doing a break, a Shining Fates break in the future. I'll be opening up. 36 booster packs of Shining Face. One winner takes all. $13 per spot to enter. Ryan Majeski at MSN.com to get into the break. And I have lots of break videos on my channel in the past if you're trying to figure out how the break works. Brock, I see that is a possible name for a boy. It's not a bad name, I would say. Coughing. Trapinch. Rowlet. Choodle, Morpeko, Darkness Type Energy, Tropius, Cramorant, Rusted Sword, Reverse All. There we go, a Drizzile. So make that two Drizzile from this opening overall. And then the final card would be a Manaphy. Marnie for a girl's name. That's a possibility as well. I would say we're not going to do anything actual Pokemon related, but as far as trainers go or anything like that, that's Misty is probably out, that's for sure. I know Carla's cousin had a cat named Misty, so I don't think we're going to be naming our child after a cat. I know Carla is Hispanic, and she's trying to mix in some type of Hispanic name, and I told her that is perfectly fine. I just want the name to be pronounced the same in Spanish as in English, like Sofia would be a name that I like quite well. 
That's said the same in English and Spanish. Final pack here in this tin starts with Nicket, Gossifleur, Cacnea, Kufant, Buizel, Grass Type Energy, Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Eldegoss, Reverse Solo, a Trap Inch, a Common. Rare here would be a Zeru. So this is easily the worst tin so far that have opened up two more tins to open up i believe so out of this one pulled what the rare reverse hollow a rare hollow and one shiny vault subset card and a card that i already pulled before all right i know in carla's family she has a lot of juniors and we're going to shy away from that cramorant's done me so well so far let's open up another cramorant tin like I said, I did order these from Collector's Cash, $39.99 each. I have pre-ordered from Collector's Cash, Chilling Rain. And they are stocking Chilling Rain about once every couple of days. If you get on their wish list, they'll email you immediately when Chilling Rain is available on their site. So far, I've only seen the booster boxes and the Elite Trainer boxes available for pre-order. You're looking at $49.99. For the Elite Trainer Box, there are two different ones for Chilling Rain and then $139.99 for the Booster Box. I am very excited for Chilling Rain with the Galarian, Moltra, Zapdos, and Articuno. I believe there's going to be alternate arts in that set as well. Cynthia also would work from a Spanish-English perspective, I believe. You never know, though, with some of Carla's relatives, how they say a name. Shiny Dragapult. Now this is tin number four. I know there was a prediction tin four would have the shiny Charizard VMAX. I'm just hoping for a non-baby shiny. 12 packs left to go in this live stream, so it certainly could happen. Let's see what happens in this one. Snom starts the pack. Trap Inch. Nicket. Buizel. Shinx. Lightning type energy, Eldegoss, Luxio. I see a dark edge back there. I can't tell if that's a final card or the reverse hollow. Ball guy, reverse hollow would be a Toxtricity V. Always just a glimmer of hope that it would be the Charizard V Max. There are what nine different Pokemon V in the shiny vault subset. Toxtricity here. I would probably prefer the Ditto. I really like the double that I pulled this past week, so that's not bad. And then double the fun right there in a more Paco V. So I'll set that one aside. First regular V pull of the opening, and then first non-baby Shiny Vault subset card. So hopefully this means it is a great tin overall. But that's a dab, that's a dab, double dab there for double the fun there two ultra rares in the same pack and that's one reason i do like opening sets like this or hidden fates the e series of sets with the crystal cards very nice all right so four and then two toxtricity v is not really worth very much ev starts this one kufant buizel yanma trap inch fighting type energy Let's see, we're in the same boat. My wife is Mexican and we had our son. We named him Xavier. We still have to tell her family members not to pronounce his name Javier. Yes, and that is the exact problem that I do not want to run into. Just because no matter what we tell Carla's relatives, they'll still more than likely pronounce the baby's name Javier, which I like Javier. But like I said, if, if you're naming the baby Xavier or Xavier, you don't want people calling your baby Javier, Thwacky, Cramorant, Reverse Hall of a Snom, a Common, and then a Rillaboom. So there is the trend of a rare hollow in each of the tins. Alrighty. Do an infinite dab. Now if I pull that Charizard VMAX, I'll be dabbing nonstop, that's for sure. And it has been a busy weekend for myself. I am very picky and, and particular when it comes to landscaping and keeping our home in tip-top shape. And I, I'm not a big fan of doing yard work, but yesterday, before it was snowing, 
I went outside and raked all the leaves. I have rocks all the way around the outside of my house. I have a vacuum that I suck the leaves and the twigs and everything out of the rocks. I trimmed all the bushes outside. It was a, a full day spent outside and it's a nice job to have done, but I was beat today. I took it fairly easy. Sunday is usually my cleaning day, but I shortened it up to about an hour of cleaning today instead of three or four hours. Lily is a name. Lily certainly a, a good girl's name. It seems like I've had better luck coming up with girls' names that Carla and I like more than boys' names. Kufan starts this pack. Snom. Coughing. Cacnea. Gossifleur. Fire type energy, and I see Schmohawk wants to know if I do any gardening. And my mom's a big gardener, my uncle's a big gardener. Carla wants to get a, a raised garden going. I haven't done that yet, but I'd like to eat pretty healthy, so actually, gardening would be pretty nice. I have some African violets that I do inside, and then I do plant some flowers around the house as well. Fire type energy, Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Team Yell Towel. Reverse Hollow, there we go, wasn't expecting that. A Corvus Squire, I like that. Shiny Vault subset card. Final card would be a Boss's Orders. I'm hoping that public events come back pretty soon in the Pokemon TCG. Of course, when the pandemic is more under control, it is nice. I believe I've seen in the county that I live here in Minnesota, about 50% of the people eligible for the COVID vaccine have gotten it, which is nice. That's one quick way to hopefully get back to normalcy. I was vaccinated a long time ago just because I'm an essential worker. I work at an elementary school. So halfway through this tin, one more tin to go. Nicket starts this one. Cacnea. Kufant. Eevee. Buizel. Psychic type energy, Thwacky, Tropius, Rotom, Reverse Hollow. Oh, ho, 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 so close to the Charizard, but a Grim Snarl V Max. This is a beautiful looking Shiny Volt subset card. Like this, the continuation of Toxtricity V, now a Grim Snarl V Max. Like this card very well. Actually, for one of the videos this upcoming week, just a sneak peek at that, I pull out a Grim Snarl V Max. So this card, much cooler looking than the regular Grim Snarl V Max. Set that one aside. Still on the search for the Shiny Charizard V Max. Let's see what happens. And I did mention earlier that I just created an eBay account to start selling some of my Pokemon cards. Primetime Pokemon is the eBay name, just like my YouTube channel. And I listed 10 cards on there so far, but just because it is a new account, I think it's taking a while until you can actually find my listings. I have 10 products on there so far, lots of Charizard. There is a Shiny Mewtwo on there. There's a Shining Celebi. There's an Umbreon from Neo Discovery, so there's a little bit of a mix of everything. There is both Carla and Pedro in the live chat. Thank you to thanks to you both for moderating. Nicket, Grookey, Morpeko, Yanma, Choodle, Metal Type Energy, Luxio, Ball Guy, Tropius, Reverse Solove, Rollet, just a common final card would be a Thievul. Second time I've pulled the Thievul Hollow. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. I don't think we'll name our child Pedro because Carl has two cousins named Pedro already and she's pretty close with her cousins, obviously with Sentai Fan 45. So I'll pass on that. Maybe Peter Flowers, I don't know. Maybe Peter's a, a name. Let's see. Four and then two, final pack in this tin, and then one more tin to open up. Shink starts this one. Rowlet, Morpeko, Eevee, Buizel, Water Type Energy, Rotom, Cramorant, Team Yell Towel, Reverse Hollow of a Gossifleur, a Common, and then Professor's Research would be the rare but probably the best tin so far again i'll summarize all of my pulls at the end of this live stream but was able to pull out what three shiny vault subset cards 
Grimmsnarl, Toxtricity, and Corvusquire. And again, another reminder that I will be having a break for 36 booster packs of Shining Face, $13 per spot. If you'd like to enter, one winner takes all. It is a great way to support the channel. And then if you are able to win the break, it is just great value. You can purchase as many spots as you would like via PayPal, Ryan Majeski at MSN.com. And if the break fills up and you pay for spots, you can either just donate that money to myself or I will refund you. Either way is perfectly fine. So Eldegoss here. I do like Eldegoss very well. It is a competitive card. So six packs here. Definitely hoping for that Charizard. Have pulled what? Just one VMAX shiny in the entire opening so far. I've opened up 24 packs. So let's see here. And again, another reminder, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you think this video deserves it. If you would like to support the channel any other way, lots of ways to do that. You can find those in the description of this video. There have been several donations coming through via the live chat. So thank you everyone that has donated. Of course, like I mentioned, I have some cards available on eBay. I'm selling some of my graded Pokemon cards via my mom's eBay. And then on my brother's eBay, I have some signature cards. I hope once I get my eBay into order, primetime Pokemon, I'll put everything on one. All right. Game time clips. I opened a Shining Face Elite Trainer box and got the Hollow Thievel four times. So down to the final 10. Who knows? Maybe I'll get really lucky and pull the Charizard VMAX in the break that I'm doing. I have pulled the Charizard VMAX in the first break that I did for Shining Fates. Question from Nick C. Do I collect other cards? And when I was younger, I collected sports cards. Nowadays, mainly just Pokemon. Horsey starts the first pack in the final 10. Spinarak, Rowlet, Morpeko, Nicket, Psychic Type Energy, Ball Guy, Thwacky, Cramorant, Reverse Hall of a Yen Mega. This would actually be a rare. I like the illustration on this card. And the final card would be a Professor's Research. I've mentioned this a few times in the past, but. What I do like about these special expansions, they're a little bit smaller overall, and usually they have some good supporter cards. So as long as you're not trying to sell cards for a profit, and if you are playing the competitive TCG, you can get cards like Professor's Research and Boss's Orders relatively easily from packs and then cheaper online as well. Okay, pack number two. Just hoping for one, maybe two Shiny Vault subset cards. Still on the hunt for that Skyla full art. I mainly collect English cards when it comes to Pokemon cards. Japanese, I do have some. Those are really the only two languages I would collect. Morpeko starts the second pack. Gossafleur. Eevee. Kufant. Grookey. Metal-type Energy. Eldegoss. Dartrix. Gym Trainer, Reverse Soul of a Manaphy. I can't get away from this Manaphy. A rare. Final card. Talk about not getting away from it. Manaphy. Two Manaphy in this pack. So Manaphy, maybe that means that our baby is going to be a man, a boy. That's what Carla really thinks. She thinks it's going to be a boy. It's either going to be a boy or a girl. 50-50 chance either way. Shiny Dragapult now on this one. All right, all I need is that one great pack. There we go. This one starts with Snom, Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, Grass-type Energy, Floatzel, Team Yell Towel, Rotom, Reverse all of a Gym Trainer. It's cut a little bit strangely up in that top right corner. And then a Celebi. Three packs left to go and a little bit disappointed with the pulls overall. I pulled what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shiny Vault subset cards. I'm hoping for out of 10 or 30 packs, I would hope for 10. But let's see. 
All right, so let me moderate the live chat and Pedro's on it. He got to it before I was able to. Shiny Charizard V Max pack now. How about something good in this one? I went to my local Dollar Tree and they didn't have anything as far as Pokemon cards go. For a long time I was able to get Pokemon cards, those mini packs, at my local Dollar Tree. Snom starts this one. Morpeko. Cacnea. Choodle. Spinarak. Lightning type energy. Thwacky. Rotom. Rusted Sword. Reverse all of that. Thievil, a rare hollow normally. And then, you guessed it, Manaphy. So only two packs left to go. Oh, I don't know if it's worth trying to grab another Shining Fates product. And I've outside, like I mentioned earlier in this live stream, I was able to finally get two Shining Fates tins from my local Walmart because they finally put in some type of limit. Of course, people aren't listening to it. They just grab whatever they want and hope that they don't get stopped. But I was able to finally find two Shining Fates tins. Of course, I would have liked to have get, bought the Elite Trainer boxes, but they did not have any. If there's a limit like that, the best strategy is to just buy whatever has the most packs. Yes, these packs have not been that great. Morpeko starts this one. Spinarak. Buizel. Rowlet, Trap Inch, Fighting Type Energy, Thwacky, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Reverse Solove Morpeko, a common, and then a Greedent would be the final card, a Greedent V. Surprisingly, the only, only the second Pokemon V from this opening. Let's see what happens. Yes, Grimmsnarl Majeski, that would be a great baby's name. I don't think that will happen. Now, if I don't get anything here, I might have to try and open up one more product. I want to end this opening with a bang. That's for sure. And yes, it is a better option overall to keep products sealed. But as a Poketuber and someone that actually collects the cards, it's hard to keep products sealed. All right. Cacnea starts the potentially the final pack. Choodle, Eevee, Nicket, Horsey, Fire Type Energy, Rotom, Rusted Shield, Floatzel, Reverse Hollow. Of a Kyogre, so this is an amazing rare. One of three from the set, Eveltal and Reshram, the other two. And then a Cinderace V, the final one. So you know what? I have a couple of mini tins by me. I'll open up some mini tins until I get a shiny vault subset card. I've had decent luck from mini tins. Still on the hunt for that Charizard. So bear with me here. I have to bend over and get these. The mini tins are really my least favorite product from Shining Fates, but I've had decent pulls. Really should knock on wood because hopefully they will continue now. So as far as the upcoming week goes, I have two or three videos that I'll probably post. I'll be opening some three-pack blisters from Battle Styles. I will be opening up the Rapid Strike or Shifu V box. And then I pulled from my collection some Eevee and Snorlax Tag Team GX tins. And I know those have evolutions in them. So let's see. I'll use my box cutter here. There is the tin. Two packs inside here. $8.99 is what these tins normally cost. And I actually bought a case. I think I had to pay... How much did I pay for these? It was, I think, $18 a tin. I bought a case for $180 from Collector's Cash. I'll change it to this view just so you can see a little bit better. Just the two packs and then a coin and a little collectible card. As you can see, these have little value to me. Hydrogen on the coin. And then the two packs. Like I said, I'll open up some mini tins until I get a Shiny Vault subset card. So it might be quite a few packs. It might only be these two packs. Who knows? Like I said, 
will have more shiny shining fates openings in the future that is for sure all right one more reminder too that i have that shining fates break coming up 36 spots available winner takes all 13 dollars per spot and i am lowering that price quite a bit from what i started early on just because prices are coming down a little bit and i want to make it fair to everyone this pack starts with Yanma, Trap Inch, Grookey, Shinx, Coughing, Tropius, the Reverse Hollow, and what did I do for the card trick? Floatzel, Gym Trainer, Thwacky, Kufant, Boss's Orders, and then a Lightning Type Energy. So I need to focus a little bit more on the card trick. That is for sure. All right. Second pack here, hopefully the last pack in this live stream. Thank you everyone for watching this video. As I am recording it and streaming it live, again, I apologize to those that watched since, what, 7.15 when I first announced this live stream. I had some audio issues, but thanks for those that stuck through that. Trap Inch starts this one. Yanma, Buizel, Eevee, Kufant. Grass type energy, Rotom, Rusted Shield, Tropius, Reverse Hall of Azerud, which is a rare. Final card would be a Yen Mega. So for those interested in the break, it's a winner take all break. The winner is the person that has the highest number Shiny Vault subset card in their pack. So essentially you are supporting the channel. You can enter as many times as you would like. 36 total spots, and once these spots fill up, I will let everyone know. But you can enter via PayPal, Ryan Majeski at msn.com, and you can find that in the description of this video. So on to mini tin number two. I don't really like to open so many products, but hoping to get one more Shiny Vault subset card. So this would be the Celebi mini tin. Just open it up here, same coin, and then the card, I can flip it around. Hello, Carla, she's meowing in the live chat. And I would love for Carla to join me on the live stream again in the near future. She's just had lots of issues with her pregnancy where it's tough for her to, to really go up and down the stairs and just do a lot of extra stuff. So hopefully she will overcome that in the near future. and can join me again on live stream. All right, this pack here. Four and then two, hoping for a shiny vault subset card there. And yes, the scalping or the reselling is getting a little bit better, but the supply is increasing enough, I think, from the Pokemon Company International. Nickit starts this one. Wow, Orlando's had some great luck in the live chat. I opened many Elite Trainer boxes and Premium boxes. Five Skyla from them, but Pikachu box gave me the Zard. Wow, nice. All right, Eevee, Choodle, Cacnea, Gossifluor, Fire-type Energy, Dartrix, Luxio, Gym Trainer, Boss's order, so a rare would be the reverse holo, and then another mana fee for the final card. Boy, oh boy, it's been a while since I pulled out a shiny bolt subset card. Yes, Eli, that sounds like what's to be expected from a pregnancy, and Carl and I wouldn't know. Neither of us have been in that situation before, but she's taking it day by day. That is for sure. I'm doing my best to support her. I have not seen anything. There's a question from G Champro. I've not seen anything on the Pokemon Center's website for a while. They have not restocked Shining Face or anything. Rowlet starts this one. Two more likes to 200 likes on the video. Gossifleur. Coughing. Morpeko. Yanma. Darkness Type Energy. Team Yell Towel. Luxio. Dartrix. Reverse all of a Shinx, a common. 
and then a professor's research, the final card. So I might be opening all these mini tins before I get anything good. I'll open up a Reshiram one now. I'm going through these. These are normally $8.99. I spent $18 per mini tin. And the only thing I know about the Pokemon Center's website is lately I've been blocked every single time just because I've tried so hard to get product and never have come close. And it seems like these actual bots and resellers out there are able to put through many, many orders. So one and two. I'm always a little bit worried that the cards will be damaged a little bit, but so far so good from these mini tins. I hope so, Paul H. I know you're going to get something good, though. I hope so. I certainly hope so. It's getting expensive opening all these. All I'm hoping for is one Shiny Vault subset got card. That is it. So far, it is not happening. Weasel starts this one. I can hear Carla coming home now, so she must not have been in the live chat for a little bit. Spinarak. More Peko. <clears throat> Grookey. I'm getting choked up about not getting a Shiny Vault card. Horsey. Fire type energy. Thwacky. Cramorant, Ball Guy, Reverse All of an Eevee, a Common, and then a Yan Mega. So more than likely, here comes another Mini Tin. Corviknight on this one. Boy, oh boy, is this the pack that finally does it for me? I really not been able to find Pokemon cards anywhere, just anywhere, other than Walmart couple of days ago when they finally limited it to two. I've had to pay above MSRP and bought cards from Collector's Cash. Morpeko starts this one. Yanma. Horsey. Shinx. Spinarak. Fighting type energy. Eldegoss. Team Yell Towel. Rusted Shield. The hunt continues. A reverse fall of Alexio. And then a boss's order. So I need you guys to wish me some luck. It's been several packs now since I've had a Shiny Vault subset card. How about this? I've had so many Manaphy pulls. How about I get something good in a Manaphy mini tin? Let's do it here. Use my box cutter. Let's see what I can pull out. Manaphy there, the coin, the card, all I need is one shiny vault subset card, watch I'll pull a Drizzile for the third time. I do sort of like the mini tins, just the looks of them, but they really don't display that well, they can get knocked over easily, but I do have several in my collection. Boy, thank you everyone for the Good luck wishes, Alex and Shining Face Schmidt. Let's see, Rubber Yan. There's a donation. Good luck from Miguel Ramirez. Thank you very much. I know Miguel is a name that Carla wants for a baby. I hope so, Skylar. This is the one that's going to have the Charizard. I hope so. I certainly hope so. Four and then two. Yanma starts this one. Buizel or a Skyla would do it as well. Grookey, Kufant, Snom, Darkness Type Energy, Gym Trainer, Rusted Sword, Cramorant, Reverse Hollow of a Shinx, just a common, and then a Celebi. So wow. Danny Echo, a $4.99 donation. Thank you for the well wishes. Okay. I need it. This Corviknight here. Is this going to be the saving pack here? And M Miguel Ramirez, it is a great name for a $10 donation. And Carl actually likes the name Miguel Angel, which that's fine if you pronounce it like that. But then most people probably pronounce it Miguel Angel. So that's a little bit conflicted with the name. All right. This one starts with Buizel, Trap Inch. Rowlet, Nicket, Shinx. 
I see a Dark Edge back there. Is that a Shiny Vault subset card? Or is that the final card in the pack? Darkness type energy. Luxio. Floatzel. Rusted Sword. Piers would be the full art. I skip right ahead to that. That is a beautiful looking card right there. Really like that one. Search your deck for an energy card. A Darkness type Pokemon. Reveal it. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So that is an excellent pull. I skipped right over the Shiny Vault subset card. Nice. That is a great pack to end it. So still on the search for the Shiny Charizard VMAX. But a pretty good pack there with Grookey. I really like these Shiny Starters. And then the Piers, which one of eight different Full Art Trainer cards. With that being said, I don't know if I pulled this one from a pack before. So now I can summarize my pulls. A little bit disappointing overall out of, what, 40 packs, I would say. 35, probably 36 packs at least. But a good way to end it. Thank you for those in the live chat that wish me some good luck. So I can summarize my good pulls now. I guess, like I mentioned, I really like these products. The tins, that is, because of the shiny promo card. All right, so... I know you guys want to see the Shiny Vault subset cards the most, so I was able to pull out only six baby shinies. So Grookey, Corvusquire, and I'll lay out everything on the mat so that you can see it. Two Drizzile, a Snom, and then Copperaja, and that is one reason I do like Hidden Fates much, much better because of the shiny Pokemon in the set are actually Pokemon that I like a little bit more. And then I was able to pull out two non-baby shinies in Grimmsnarl VMAX, probably my favorite pull of the opening, and then the Toxtricity V. So what I thought was about one in four packs for Shiny Vault subset cards. I pulled eight from... I think 36 or 38 packs, so a little bit worse than expected, but not terrible. Still on the hunt for that Charizard, which hopefully I'll pull it sometime, but the few packs I have remaining, I will be doing a Shining Face Booster Pack break. 36 Shining Face Booster Packs, I'll be opening up break style. You can get into that break via PayPal, ryanmajeskitmsn.com, $13 per spot. You can purchase as many spots as you'd like. Just let me know when you're entering via PayPal that's for Shining Fates. So I can, show, so sh I can show some of the main cards here. Once I actually go to the view there, there would be the Shiny Vault subset cards. Then I can go back here and go to the opening view and show some of the other cards in the set. So I was able to pull only one Amazing Rare in Kyogre, my favorite of the three, just because I am a Water-type fan. Amazing Rare. I was able to pull out three Pokemon V. Cinderace is probably my favorite. There are, what, eight Pokemon V in the set. Cinderace, Greedent, and more Peko, the three that I pulled out. Could be my favorite pull of the entire opening outside of that Grimmsnarl VMAX would be the Piers Full Art Trainer. I have not pulled this card before. And then one El Creamy V. I know you guys don't care about the Rare Hollows and the Rare Reverse Hollows that much, so I can just quickly go through those. Boss's Orders, Zerud, Thievil, Manaphy, pulled lots of Manaphy, Yen Mega, Volcanion, Galarian Weezing, and then another Manaphy. As far as the Rare Hollow cards go, Thievil, Rillaboom, Luxray, Thievil again, and Indeedee. So that will essentially conclude this live stream. Like I said, I'm going to have to go back onto YouTube and edit out the front portion of this live stream because I was muted but lots of reminders and things to remember for my upcoming videos and if you would like to support the channel so first off make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and Carla made it down here good luck to Carla and it is a mess down here so be careful Carla was uh I didn't expect Carla to come down here so hold on for a Carla experience uh, 
Carla, yeah, Carla, a showing. Are you going to show your face? Come on over, Carla. Oh, I just look like I don't. You look like you're pregnant, right? Yeah. You're how old? many how weeks? Old? 15 weeks or 14 weeks today? 15. 15 weeks? Bring your head down this way. And Toddle's in here as well. Go look at my belly. There's Carla, a Carla sighting, right? Hello. Hopefully Carla can join in some of the upcoming openings as well. You smell like your relative's house, don't you? Yeah, I even changed my shirt so then I actually looked Omaha, decent. Omaha, that's where we went on our honeymoon, no right? No makeup, so I don't look. Oh, you're beautiful, Carla. A Carla Whoa. sighting. Do you Hopefully have makeup on? That. Oh, you're drooling or what? I think I did. Okay, so some reminders. Now that Carla's here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you have not already. And then if you would like to support the channel even more, I don't know if I can scoot over much. There's so much garbage everywhere. Why are you so excited? Well, I didn't expect you'd be down here. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to support the channel even more, lots of ways to do that. You can find things like my Patreon in the description of this video. I just started that eBay channel primetime Pokemon, just like my YouTube name. And I hope that the listings start showing up in the next 24 hours on there. You can purchase my book. You can always donate via the live chat, but the best thing to do is just support the channel, watch my videos and cheer us on, right? Yes. And I'm glad you're down here, Carla. You're overcoming some of your issues with pregnancy like that. So thank you for coming down here. That is pretty exciting stuff from Carla. She hasn't been downstairs in our house for at least a month or two, haven't you? So it's been a while. Carla's yeah. been having not the greatest of time. But Carla is doing okay, right? Mm -hmm. Tuttle's, Tuttle's back there too. Can you? Can I pick up Tuttle? Come here, Tuttle. Tuttle. We'll get a Tuttle sighting as well. Tuttle, come here. Tuttle, whoa. I don't know where Tuttle's headed. Can you lift up Tuttle? There's Tuttle. There's our cat, Tuttle. Look at that. Our whole family's here. All four of us, right? One, two, three, and four downstairs right in your tummy mm -hmm. but there is our whole family like i said thank you everyone for Bye. watching the videos Bye. and watching our openings like that i hope carla can return in the near future for the live streams but thank you everyone for watching like i said before you go make sure to check out everything in the description of this video and hopefully if you can find shining fates your polls are a little bit better than what i had in these in this live stream with these Tuttle. tins and whatnot. So I think that will end this live stream. Thank you everyone for watching and stay, and stay tuned, tuned for more, more videos. videos. Thank, Thank you. you. You still have it. Good job. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye. Good night. Bye.